UFology, yeah. Class of proposed machines that violate the laws of thermodynamics. Beyblades? This does look like something that H.P. Lovecraft could not describe. Me going to a cave in Antarctica that's recently been uh, opened up due to melting ice caps, walking in and seeing something completely indescribable. H H P. If H.P. Lovecraft existed in 2022, all of his books would be like, it's like a fucking octopus fucked a cockroach. It looked like a fucking... Can you imagine H.P. Lovecraft going on Bill Burr's podcast? Shit was so fucking ugly. It looked like a fucking squid skull fucked a fucking platypus. It was almost indescribable. It was some kind of undescribable color, sort of like a purple, like a shimmering purple sort of thing. Anyway, uh, you're not a baby anymore. You've turned into the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Happy birthday, sweet 16. What happened to that funny face? My little tomboy now wears satins and lace. I can't believe my eyes. You're just a teenage dream. Happy birthday, sweet 16. When you were only six, I was your big brother. Then you were 10, we didn't like each other. When you were 13, you were my funny Valentine. But you, since you've grown up, your future is sewn up. From now on, you're gonna be mine. So, if I should smile with sweet surprise, it's just that you've grown up before my very eyes. You've turned into the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Happy birthday, sweet 16. Substantially worse than even my lowest possible expectations could have been. It, it sounds like, uh, end quote, your honor, is the only way you could end that. Trash and boat. Can't find water, we can find a boat. A thief broke into the bunker! All water and food are gone. I f fell dizzy from the constant thirst. Swimmer dead. I fell dizzy from the constant thirst. You dead, death be. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't do anything. Random. It's, we only random the pyromancer and the and the sorcerer. Like, are you, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Bro, it's, it's broken, dude. <laughs> okay, we, we did get the hero. Hold on, I'd like to buy the other characters. We have a lot of souls. Thief, wanderer, and bandit. I can't afford him. Okay, random me once more. You gotta be kidding me, man. Okay, I'm gonna play as the thief. <laughs> Who needs God of War Ragnarok? You know, you want a story about the uh, father figure? You just play some bunker life and you don't have a disembodied head uh, hanging off your belt going, Try using the water if you're thirsty! Kratos, you're thirsty! Use your water to fill your blue meter! Kratos, you need to use the left analog stick to, to get to the door. She's driving me crazy. Instead, the game tells you nothing at all, the way God intended. Which are the people who do not travel often and are generally slower when boarding planes. Just say it, asshole. You don't like to pay the checked bag fee, so you get a priority boarding pass with your platinum fucking card, and then you fill up all the overhead bins with your bags that should have been checked in the first place, and then all the plebs flying coach are walking into an empty cabin, and yet all the overhead storage bins are completely full, and you're like, there's one person sitting here, why are there seven suitcases in the overhead bin? And then they're like, sir, don't worry, I can take that and check that for you. And I'm like, yeah, no problem, it's just got my laptop, my camera, and my phone in it. Go ahead. Then the bottom of the plane going <laughs> Shit is like just pure silicone vapor by the time I open the bag. Anyway. Listen, here's how it went, okay? I was sitting at my, my kitchen counter. I typed um, into my phone. I typed, had a great Halloween, stay pogged everybody, send tweet. Went to the bathroom, peed, washed my hands, then looked at my phone and was like, why does this shit have 400 likes in like 90 seconds? Read it through and realized it said, stay pegged. 
every reply was, huh? And then I was like, you know what? It's a happy accident. You can't, you can't delete that after it already comes out. You walk past this. First off, I didn't know at a Mexican, this is not a joke. At a Mexican pharmacy, you don't need a prescription for fucking anything. You don't need a prescription for anything. We walk, there's a pharmacy every three stores. Anabolic steroids, boner pills, hair loss medication. We were joking, because there's guys, like there's pictures of like Ronnie Coleman flexing on the front of the pharmacy, and there's dudes trying to like sell you steroids while you walk by. We walked by one and the guy was like, you will look like this in two weeks. I'm like, you, you promise? Anyway, we were laughing, because Kate said, do you want anything? And I said, well, maybe if I get food poisoning, I can just get some antibiotics down here instead of waiting 12 hours at the BC emergency room. We walked past another pharmacy on the sign. It says we have ciprofloxacin, which was the fucking exact antibiotic that they eventually prescribed me in order to save my life. But I had to go through like three weeks of like means testing to make sure I really wanted it. Send toast to 10 tents, stout saints, 10 tall tents. Send toast to 10 tents, stout saints, 10... Someone tweeted me, and you might be in the chat right now, and you're probably going to laugh that you hear it. I hope you're not upset. They said, throw, they tweeted, throw back to this insane moment featuring NL. And it was a, a screenshot of their text messages with their partner that said, and I, this is paraphrasing, but I promise you this was the gist. Hey, I can't watch the video of you giving me a blowjob because I can hear NL in the background. And then the reply from their partner was like, all caps, LAMAL. You don't need to tweet me that. I'm not like disgusted. I'm just like, why am I seeing it? Like, I don't need to, that can be your own moment between the two of you. Doesn't have to be like, I, I don't need to be looped in. Like, I, I, you, maybe in your head, you're like, oh man, if I ever saw NL in person, I would tell him about this story. Please don't. All plus tours don't lift weights. What are you gonna do? You're gonna get in like a, it's gonna go down at a bar. You wanna take this outside? You wanna take this outside? Yeah, I do. I'll have you know, I'm in the four, three, two, one club, okay? I squat four plates. You really wanna, you really wanna go outside with this? You really wanna go outside with this? You wanna go up against this? You wanna go up against this right now? Bro, bro, you better hope you don't find yourself on my shoulders or like in the, in between my shoulder blades and my back. You better hope you don't find yourself down here because you will go up and down like over and over. It's on site, dude. What are you talking about? Instruction manual. It's one of those restaurants. I, I love a restaurant where when you walk in, they have to give you a preamble. Hey, have you ever dined with us before? No, but I have eaten a few times in my life. Um, I think I generally understand the concept of I tell you what food I would like, and then you make it for me, and I exchange some currency with you, and then you give me a tray. It's not like other pizza places here. You can either order one of the pizzas that we got, or you can choose a crust, you can choose a sauce, and then we'll walk you through our array of toppings. We'll put them on, and then we'll bake them in our 600-degree brick oven. And you can mod it your way. I got two emails from Twitch. The first one said, uh, it was like a week after I'd accessed Twitch. It said, chat misses you. With all due respect, you don't think it's like a little bit messed up when, when, I mean, we're talking about an industry where people like work 18 hours a day. I mean, it's an easy job, don't get me wrong, but like they do crazy, they, they do subathons, everyone's suffering from burnout and like mental health issues and the constant grind to feed the beast. I'm away for a week. You send me an email that's trying to like emotionally blackmail me saying chat misses me. It's, I just, it's a little, I get that you got a bottom line, okay? It just seemed like, uh, to me, I, I thought that was a little much. And then they, like three days after that, they sent me another one that's like, here's what you've missed while you're gone. And I was like, oh, fucking a bunch of people playing the same shit they always play. Big whoop. This is a good gamer. That, he, he did it with style. When are you going to do the Luddy? That's the one that's like this, right? Honestly, guys, I hate to tell you, I think hitting the Luddy just gave me a hernia. Is that when it feels like you tore something in your shoulder blade? <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Sufian Stevens wasn't on in the background. <clears throat> Speaking outrageously, I write in cursive. I. Yes. That's why I think it should be legal to drink and drive. Hello. Hi, how are you? You're blowing bubbles? <laughs> ah, you're blowing bubbles, okay. Hi. You're blowing bubbles with mommy. So cute. That's our delivery guy. <laughs> Stun locked on the main menu? This is the content, you know that, right? It's not like the part where we're creatively thinking about things and talking about them, just like coming off the top of the dome piece. That's not any less valid than, and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna hope that we see some gems. Look, oh good, we got some gems. I'm gonna bring those gems back to the surface. I'm gonna take a quick look at, who fucking cares? How old are you? I'm asking, there's not like a question from a, a place of derisiveness. I just wanna know. Cause if you're like in your thirties and that's what you're asking for, Oh no, brother. We're searching the soul here. We're combing through the Zen garden between your ears, okay? The game is merely the background noise. That's why I'm not playing God of War Ragnarok. We don't need the emotions to be on the screen. We find them within. We comb through the soul. Sometimes we do go goblin mode. That is true. Uh, then there was a dentist office, an LCBO. Uh, a shopper's drug mart and a bargain heralds, Holy which was uh, then turned into Byway, and right. there was a CIBC yeah. bank as well. Did, did Harold sell Ready Up? No, <laughs> he uh, he sold uh, heavily discounted merchandise. When you get a sub at cheap, Subway, did you ask <laughs> for extra Ready Up? <laughs> no, no, I did not, Mal. But uh, I used to be able to smoke in there because this, this is like high, right? I don't know what's wrong like, with Sibs, uh, man. <laughs> it's like a 19, uh, it was like 1994, 1995. Used to be able to smoke in the subway. I'm starting to think this so you, guy is sour cream. Did plays. you get addicted to ready up in <laughs> high school and that's why you're so adverse to it today, right now? Uh, what? Oh, sorry, ready up, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, do you know what? I wasn't even wondering. I was just lost in my own thoughts. But this shit is like, I don't understand why, like the only form of gaming that seems to be rewarded by the game awards is third person action game. Where like, oh, the combat engine is so good. The combat is so fun. You, that's 4% of the game. The rest of the game is riding around on a dog sled to Jotunheim with a head on your belt that goes, Kratos, this reminds me of the time me and my brother went to Nibelheim. And then people were like, I hate quips in Marvel movies. Quips ruin Star Wars. But oh, then when Kratos gets quipped, oh, I love it. And then Kratos, in, in, in a cutscene, motherfucker can jump 100 feet in the air to get on top of a mountain to fight God. But then he walks into a room and there's like a little lever. The lever is up a knee high alcove. And he's like, what can I do? And you're like, I think I pick up the crystal and put it on a pedestal. And then I get like a ramp and then I, Kratos, have you considered picking up the, have you seen the crystal over there?